you're probably overpaying for network gear with features your small business will never use. Enterprise gear sounds powerful until you realize you're stuck in the licensing cycle, paying for dashboards and controls that don't apply to your size or use case. If you're not careful, you'll lock your business into bloated systems and never scale efficiently. As an IT consultant, I help IT teams make smart decisions on hardware without sacrificing performance. I'm gonna show you the HPE networking instant on AP21. The enterprise grade visibility with a dashboard all in a compact, affordable package. All right, let's take a look inside the box. We've got the startup guide that comes with the AP, the AP21 itself. See how compact it is. The mounting bracket and an ethernet cable. Super simple and one of the biggest benefits of the Instant On series, it's ease of deployment. You don't need a dedicated IT team to get this up and running. So why don't we get get started? Let's install it, get it online just in, in just a few minutes. This AP is designed for easy installation in a small office space, conference rooms, or retail locations. You can mount it on the wall or on the ceiling in just a few steps. And because it supports PoE, you can keep your setup pretty minimal. No extra power adapters are needed. I'm gonna be using the web browser to set up this AP21. So why don't we head over there now? So I've already created an account on HPE uh, Instant On website. This is their, their cloud dashboard. So you can see there's no Instant On sites. So the first thing that I have to do is create the site. Now we need to give this site a name. So what I'm gonna call this is packet six. We'll click on next. And the way we'll tie the AP21 back to this specific site is using the serial number of the AP. And you can grab that serial number off the box or on the AP itself. So I'll type that serial number in, then we'll click on next. And so now it's gonna try to discover this device. Of course, I have the AP plugged in, it has an IP address, and it should be reaching the instant on URL in order for onboarding to occur. The AP has now been discovered by the cloud dashboard. And what we'll do is create the site with this one AP. You can see the details of, of the AP on the right when I click on it, the serial number, the health, its IP address and what type of hardware it is, the AP model, MAC address, and serial number. So let's go ahead and create the site. Now we're gonna give it an operating mode. Are we setting this to an access point or a primary Wi-Fi router? So it depends on your network setup in your location. I do already have a router and I'm just gonna set this up as an access point. Now, there we go, we have our site created and right away we have all these little dashlets set up for us. We have the, the overall view of our site, the health, any alerts that have came up and how many clients are connected at this site. You could have multiple instant on APs in a single site, the, the networks, the number of APs, applications and policies. What I wanna do is set up a network. So I'll click on networks on the left side then we will go ahead and click on create network. From there, we will give our network a name. I'm gonna call it packet six. Then we'll click on next. We'll set up our network properties for this network. So uh, what kind of network is it? Is it for your employees or for your guests? For, for this initial setup, it's for the employees. We'll set this up as WPA2 personal to keep it simple. I'm not gonna hide the network and I will give it a password. We'll keep it easy. We have test one, two, three, four. Let's see if it takes that password, it does. And from here we wanna t uh, give this AP and or the clients that connect to this network an IP assignment. You can determine that if you're just going to bridge those IPs from the network, or is it going to be specific to this network? For here, I'm just going to keep it simple. I don't have any VLANs tied to this network. I'm just going to use the local network that the AP is connected to, and I'll click on Create Network. And there we go. Our network has been created. We have one network ready to go. 
called packet six. That is the parameters there. IP assignment on the left, network assignment, any kind of access control if you want to at least set up some, some security or if you want to schedule this SSID to be available to everybody. And these are the different optimizations we can do for the Wi-Fi network. So if I want to do multicast optimization, uh, you have the ability to set up bandwidth control. I don't typically recommend doing that. And whether or not you want Wi-Fi 6 to be enabled and enable OFDMA. I will click update here since I enabled OFDMA. And there we go. So we'll go back to our overall view. So now we have our networks. We should be able to join to this SSID. I will connect using my mobile phone. I wanted to show you with an application called Wi-Fi Explorer Pro, I could scan for the wireless networks that are in my area. And in this application, I did do a filter for packet six. I can see that there are two BSS IDs being broadcasted on channel 36 and on channel one. This is the SSID we just set up. You can see that the vendor is HPE Aruba Networks, which is for this uh, instant on AP. What we want to do now is connect a device to this Wi-Fi network. Right now, we don't have any clients connected as it shows here, so I'm going to do that with my phone. All right, I've, I've connected my phone to the SSID packet 6. We can see after I've refreshed the page, we have one client and it has a good connectivity. We can see it is an iPhone. We can click into that device and see its characteristics here. What the health looks like of this phone, the state, how long it's been online, the uh, fingerprinting that the Instant On can do. It can tell it's an Apple device, an iOS. The MAC address, which is, which is important for any kind of troubleshooting or uh, identification of this, of this device the connection, its IP address, everything you want to see here, including the data rate that it's capable of doing and the client usage. If it is an unknown device, you can block this or we can add it to a watch list. Maybe it's something, a device you want to keep track. After some traffic has been seen from this device, you can see the client usage become updated with the, with the traffic categories. Uh, how much of it was web traffic, uh, what's categorized as lifestyle or other. And I just did a simple speed test to, to generate some traffic here. Let's say you want to control the types of applications that are seen on your network. When you're in your site and you look at the dash lit for applications, you can click on that and see what are the most used applications on that are being used on your network. And it gives you a category. You can click into one and see how much traffic is being used, what type of application, and which client may be taking up that category the most. If you have any concerns about the applications, you can click into a category and see right here there's category control. You can click on view policies because this category is currently allowed. You can create a new policy. You want to apply this to applications, which is an application access policy. Click on next. And the action you want to select is block. And from here, you could block all the applications or categories that are enabled and checked. So I will uncheck all of these other categories. Maybe we'll also block malicious and risky. And from there, you can add a condition and say, hey, match specific networks. But we'll, we'll just do a basic block rule for malicious and risky and also adult content. Click on next. You can give this policy a name so we can block adult and malicious content. It's enabled currently and we'll do finish. And so here now there's a policy in place. You can set a schedule as well. This one's always active and you can view the details of this policy. Now let's talk about the performance. The AP21 delivers really good speed in my environment, ensuring strong connectivity for probably up to 50 devices. And that's perfect for a small office, a retail store, or even a pop-up event where you need reliable Wi-Fi. I set up this AP in my small office space and the results were pretty impressive. You'll immediately notice faster connectivity and fewer drops. The video calls were smooth and access to cloud applications loaded quickly. 
And with the built-in guest portal and captive portal integration, the businesses can easily offer secure guest access without additional hardware. So is the HPE networking instant on the AP21 worth it? If you're looking for an affordable, high-performance Wi-Fi 6 access point that's easy to deploy and manage, absolutely. The low total cost of ownership and, and powerful cloud features from this device make it a solid choice for small businesses. If you want to see more networking solutions that boost your business productivity, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.